The Catskills already have an underutilized railway system, which could be a real draw for families and railroad buffs. The complete railway circuit returned to service might once more make the Catskills a national and international travel destination. The spectacular views over the water are only visible from the train. When Kingston connects along the reservoir to Phoenicia, folks can take their car, a bus, a train, or a boat to Kingston and transfer to a colorful scenic railroad for transport through the Catskill Park. The rail system can later re-establish itself past Bel Air, a large all-season ski center. The line could then connect to the fully developed Delaware and Ulster Railroad system from Highmount through Arkville to Roxbury. Returning to yesteryear and projecting into the future, let us envision this ghost railroad along the reservoir running again. I've been riding on this road here this morning and it is beautiful. And it reminds me of some other railroads that I've been on that are tourist railroads, like the Conway Scenic in New Hampshire, where the state actually maintains the track and they lease it to a for-profit organization to make money. And they run at least one train a day that runs from North Conway to Carver Notch. The only thing we can say economically that's going to happen is it's going to bring tourists up into the mountains. Well, what's the matter with that's, that? Uh, that's great, but it's, you know, the county does not believe there's that much money involved. Picture a cartoon map designed for travelers of the area from Kingston to Phoenicia showing the full-size railroad as a kind of regional trolley along the reservoir, back and forth to Phoenicia and all the quaint stops in between. Rather than competing for access to the right-of-way, rail and trail supporters need to work out a full proposed route for both. The overall trailway can offer trail alongside rail, trail on 28A, and trail crisscrossing rail stop points like a rapid transit. You're looking upstream. There's no way that trail people can be given permission to come across this. Well, oh, Zach, the other issue is that the I have a letter, actually, and um, the first preference is railroad only. Yeah. That's well, I mean, here, thing. rails with trails is impossible. At hub locations, hikers and bikers can easily rejoin or disembark from the train all day. Passengers might choose to ride back and forth using open tickets. Electric jitneys or vans can enable groups of tourists to shuttle around to local attractions or trailheads once they step off the train. Though the rails remain intact from Kingston all the way along the Ashokan Reservoir, in places the underpinning needs shoring up. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, has agreed to finance the restoration of the Boiseville Trestle and the washed out rail bed from Cold Brook to Phoenicia at a cost of $3.8 million. Repairing the line from Kingston to Boiseville will require another $5 million. Washington may also be ready to provide these remaining dollars, but they are likely to require either a government agency or a nonprofit organization to receive and disperse the funds. The long-standing community institution, Empire State Railway Museum, located in Phoenicia, is now offering to perform this function in order to complete the restoration of the rail bed. Progress in restoring this charming country railway system depends on collaboration between the key government and community actors. The United States can readily afford the modest costs of repairing the rail bed. New York State has regulatory authority. New York City owns the reservoir. Ulster County bought the tracks and right-of-way in the late 70s. The Catskill Mountain Railroad holds the operating lease until 2016. The Empire State Railway Museum's nonprofit status 
enables it to apply for and manage grant monies. These entities, pulling together with area municipalities, can bring this locomotive for local prosperity back online. All through the boom years, the railroad served as a central nervous system for the region. Now the train runs from Phoenicia to the Coldbrook Station with a few thousand passengers annually, instead of the many more who had flocked to see the spectacular reservoir views only accessible by rail. Placed within the highlighted regional context of information kiosks, scenic byway signage, and joint rail restoration and trail development, the Catskill Interpretive Center in Mount Tremper can at last achieve completion on the lot cleared back in 1992. The key factor is for the corridor municipalities to see themselves as pearls on a necklace or Christmas lights in a series. Come on train, come on train, come on train.